hey what's going on guys welcome back to the channel and yes i am back alive and well we are finally home getting used to being brand new parents with our daughter uh, we just brought her home a couple of days ago after uh, an extended stay at the hospital we had some stuff kind of go down but not to fear not to worry uh mama and baby are fine healthy happy and um, we've just been enjoying the last few days together kind of getting into the rhythm of being parents so uh, thank you guys for all being patient with us and of course thanks for the support on you know, the discord twitter and the youtube posts that i've been trying to keep you guys up to date with uh, but today's video i'll have more on that later too of course um today's video is about PUBG. let's talk uh patch 18.1 that comes out uh so you, you're seeing this video tomorrow on tuesday the patch notes should be out tomorrow or wednesday i believe and the test server should go up on wednesday morning or tuesday night as well but ahead of that, we have some leaked skins to review. So we'll take a look at some of the brand new skins coming for season 18.1. And also in those skins, the brand new progressive barrel skin. So let's take a look and see what you guys think. All right, now before we do that, let's take a quick peek at the store. It's been like literally two weeks since I've even logged into PUBG. So let's take a look at what's new to make sure you guys and gals are caught up to date uh, as well as I am. So uh, your shop has been updated. There are some new skins available in the Your Shop. These are going to be limited time uh, bring back skins that were are no longer available in the store, and they're going to be at a discounted price. I actually got some pretty cool ones personally. I loved the Flower Power Weapon Bundle. I think those skins look cool. The Bunny Aeronautic skins I thought were really cool. So I'm not. I, I think I have all these skins already, but I, I like the the cycle of skins that they have up to date for me this time. Hopefully you guys uh, have something pretty cool too. Now, if we head over to the store, we're gonna go to uh, view more items. Let's see, new, and uh, what do we got? What do we got? Oh wait, hold on, let me, uh, let me not forget. I gotta buy my contraband coupons here. Remember, buy 10 of these every week. Every week you can buy 10 of them with your, uh, with your BP. So boom, got my 10 there, which we'll use at the progressive uh, contraband crates. And then you also can buy the six random BP crates, which sometimes you get some cool stuff, uh, sometimes not so much. Let's go to sort by new. What do we have here? We've got uh, some spring stroll outfits. We have a female set here with a little dress, a little uh, pair of shoes, and then a nice little hat with a little bow on it. Very nice. 700 uh, G coin there. You got some spring evening shoes. Is this part of a bundle? Let's see. No, these are separate. So we have a um, little overall set. We've got a cool little bandana set. And th these, this skin right here reminds me of World War II stuff. Uh, also, by the way, today's Memorial Day. Happy Memorial Day. And thank you uh, for all, the, all of those who have served uh, or currently are serving. Uh, we appreciate you all very, very much. I was watching a lot of the uh, like World, War World War II in color stuff on Netflix recently. And it's just, it's so wild and fascinating to see um, everything that went down during, you know, World War II and all the different battles that you didn't know about or the details. It's just, it's really, really crazy. Very fascinating stuff. <clears throat> and that skin set just kind of reminded me of some of the stuff I saw there. They got some spring evening shoes. Um, okay, some little slippers. We've got spring dragon backpack, level one backpack. It's actually kind of cool looking. <clears throat> some little uh, dragon scales at the bottom. I like that. That's a cool level one backpack. Spring dragon helmet level two. Oh, oh that's kind of neat. Yeah, I like that. That's a cool level two helmet. I like like the color. It looks very like rustic, you know? Cool. Also looks kind of like World, World War II-ish in terms of the colors. We got a victory dance. Okay. Another victory dance. I gotta mute this music just in case we get DMCA deer. Okay, interesting. Uh, some more shoes. I think that was part of the other outfit below or above that one. Oh, tarnished level three helmet. Okay. Oh, it's the dragon theme too. This is nice. Hey, this is nice. I like this. I know a lot of people have been asking for more like darker military ish theme stuff. I know this isn't, you know, like your everyday typical clothing you'd wear in your character, but that's pretty cool. I like that. Spring evening outfit. This is the whole get up. Got some uh, inspector gadget stuff going on. 
Okay. Oh, th those are the slippers. That's where they came from. Nice little top hat. And some cool gloves. Okay, not bad. Uh, individual items, individual items. Spring crane backpack. This is level two. Okay, got it. I see those birds all the time on my way to work. Those cranes. They're huge white birds with like super long necks and long uh, legs. They just freaking soup. Grab little minnows and little stuff out of the uh, out of the canals and stuff. Uh, and then I think these, I, I think the last video I did for you guys, we went, o went over these. These are the, the bee duck skins, weapons, that kind of stuff, which are, which are cool. But um, yeah, I'm sure you guys have all already seen that by now. Okay, so that's everything new. Um, what about anything in the future that I missed? Nope. Okay, what about any new G coin bundles? What was that? Hold on, go back. What's this? Oh, your shop. Okay. Gotcha. Any G coin bundles? Nope, nothing new there. Uh, this has been going on for a while. Contraband coupon party. Oh, here you go. Wow, neato. Oh, wow. How many are available? Holy shit. Join event. We have five, 10, 20, and then 30, 30 contraband coupons if you complete this whole event, guys. So uh, make sure to click join event and complete these daily missions. That's what, th does that say 30? Hold on. 10, 20. 30, yeah, 30 contraband coupons is enough for three rolls of the contraband crate, uh, which will be very useful for what we're about to look at next, the new uh, contraband skins and all the season 18.1 skins. So let's take a peek see. Now, before we go over all the leak skins, courtesy of Safix, ASJ underscore Safix on Twitter, uh, I do think we need to address something really quick. My boy player IGN has... Uh, found himself in some hot water, it seems. And apparently, uh, PUBG or Crafton um, sent a like private investigator or something like that to this guy's house um, with basically what seemed to be a cease and desist letter. And I'm sure if you follow him, you, you've probably seen this by now, things posted like a week ago. Yeah, it was May 24th. Um, and of course, everyone has weighed in uh, Wacky Jackie, Josh, uh, Josh Bell. He's uh, the, the creative director behind Rings of Battle, an upcoming PUBG competitor, if you will. He and I actually had a really cool conversation on my latest uh, podcast. That's the Dome Show podcast. I'll link that down below if you're interested in hearing more about that. That's on Spotify, YouTube, all that kind of good stuff. Uh, but yeah, so um, Player IGN basically explained that he doesn't actually even go get these leaks himself that people are, are pretty much send them to him and the website he goes to he this whatever the website is whoever runs the website basically uploads these these images and these leaks ahead of time for the patch notes and he just copy and paste them essentially is what i'm understanding from this this little excerpt that he said and so uh you know he's a little he's concerned he's frightened uh obviously because he doesn't know how legit this stuff is coming from Crafton about the takedown and and uh you know the cease and desist and all that stuff so um I, I i don't know what to say um it's it sucks i don't know what's right i don't know like legally i mean what's right obviously i don't I, I don't agree with what they're doing i think it's very wrong um every game has leaks and like if anything it creates hype for your game dum-dums like like one of the coolest things about doing like these videos and stuff for you guys is that we get to get like sneak peeks of, of the stuff early ahead of time, you know, and it, and it builds this hype. It builds this momentum for the patch notes release for the new skins to drop and all that kind of good stuff. And like, I don't, I don't see how they think it's, it's hurting them by, by having this stuff leaked early. You know, a lot of games these days, they leak it themselves. I mean, hell PUBG made a Twitter account, um, Alex, the PUBG dev, whose job is to basically leak things early that they're working on. So, you know, I don't know, man. I, I hope they're able to sort this out. Um, obviously, with no no legal stuff involved, I hope it's just something they can kind of backdoor handshake and and uh, player IGN can move on or continue doing it if it's uh, what he wants to do and what they uh, what they allow him to do. So best of luck uh, to player IGN in that endeavor. But let's take a look and go through uh, some of the leaks for season 18.1, which again, uh, if I didn't say this already, the test server should come out this week and that means live server would get the update um let's see that'll be on june 7th june 6th or june 7th which is actually when i go back to work i've been taking a couple weeks off work so 
it should go up when i go back to work june 6 june 7 for pc following week for console okay <sighs> now let's look at some cool stuff PUBG Nations Cup outfit 2022. We have a level two vest, M416 dance emote, and an outfit. So this is the upcoming PUBG Nations Cup. And here are the outfits and skins that we're going to be able to buy or potentially win if there's a voting coupon type of scenario, which I, of course, will keep you all up to date on. Uh, let's take a look. We got black and red stuff. Oh, I kind of like this like outer vest design on the uh, on the outfit. That's pretty cool. Uh, pants look cool, little knee pads, the hat with the built-in speakers, uh, or speakers, uh, headset, the black and red M4. So this, this stripe color scheme is the PUBG Nations Cup stripe, which I think is actually kind of a nice little touch. PUBG Nations Cup Th Thailand 2022. Is that, all right, can zoom in. Here we go, zoom in a little bit. Uh, Thailand 2022. There you go. I guess I can zoom in. Uh, but I like that. It's a level two vest and there's a dance emote coming. And then there's nine chick sprays. These are little, little chicken sprays. Okay. Maybe you can put that next to the care package. If you, if you steal a care package, spray that next to it. So people know you already hit it. That'd be kind of funny. Uh, we've got other sprays, other emotes, PUBG, a punch in the face, uh, loot crate, <laughs> a little shit shack camper. I like this one. That's cool. And then we got some more dance emotes, uh, an another cell phone emote. So they already had the cell phone emote that said like special delivery. And now this looks like uh, he's going to be taking a picture or taking a selfie and then a little T-pose uh, emote. And then we have season 18 ranked parachute and a tiger bite Crop sweater. I almost thought that was a hundred these for a second. Okay, pretty cool. Pretty cool. Uh, then we have sprays for Gideon, Neves, Utimic, Lupus, and Nam Art. I guess these are other pub. Uh, these must be PUBG streamers who are getting their skins here. So these are spray emotes. I like that. That's really cool. It's a little rat. <laughs> I ate chicken. It's a rat. That's cool. All right. So this is all right. A little alien. Uh, oh. Ooh, wait, wait, who is this? This is the scar. Nateno. Yo. Oh. Wait, that's an ace. The ace 32 is getting a skin. Whoa. Yo, that. How lucky is this streamer getting an ace, the first ace 32 skin? He's gonna get a streamer skin for it. That is dope. Yo, I am digging that. That scar skin is, oh, and the, oh, it's so cool. I wonder if that's an error because the, both of these characters are holding an ace, right? Yeah, it looks like they're both holding aces, yet there's a scar here. So that's interesting. And then a little spray emote, but that looks really sick. I like that a lot. I like that a lot. Can you guys see that? Hold on. Save image. Sorry, I save this one. Okay, here. Let's go. Boom. Um, desktop, PUBG videos, 18.1. Can I move it a little bit for y'all? There you go. I'll make sure y'all can see what the heck I'm talking about. All right. I guess if I can just. Boom. And then kind of slide over. Oh, I can't slide over. Dang. Okay. Anyway. You get the idea. It looks freaking wicked. I like that a lot. I like that a lot. The next one is San Yang. Another Scar L? What the heck? Dude, they've got to have a Scar L buff coming because this is going to be like the fifth Scar skin literally in the past two updates. That's that's wild. Um, love this outfit design. This outfit reminds me of my buddy, Nice Try Son. For those of you who don't know, he's another uh, PUBG streamer, really cool guy. And uh, he always, in IRL, always wears this kind of outfit, the um, a hoodie with no sleeves, so a sleeveless hoodie. But I, man, I like that scar skin too, dang. I already bought like two of the recent scar skins. I'm not gonna be able to choose which one I wanna use. Shoot, like that though, that's cool. All right, what else? Uh, do you a onesie and a DBS? Oh, 
That's a cool DBS though. Whoa, I like that a lot. It's like flames coming out the back or like coming from the front to the back. Am I seeing that right? Or is this some kind of cr creature maybe? It almost looks like scales. Okay, I'm not gonna lie. I have no idea what I'm looking at, but it looks cool. I like, that's by far my favorite DBS skin to date currently, 100%. Uh, would cop that. Then we have the Wen Wenu esports outfit. Wenu esports outfit. Okay, that's kind of cool. I wonder if that's for the PUBG Nations Cup stuff. I don't. I'm not sure exactly when that's going to be time to release. That's cool though. Uh, Jiskar jumpsuits. Um, I don't understand. I guess Jiskar is another streamer. I don't know. But uh, okay, so if I mean, if you're into jumpsuits, I, I'm personally not a fan of jumpsuits because it forces you to have all the same type of clothing, you know, but if you're into that, there you go. What else? Uh, we've got some high noon weapon in skin sets, or not weapon set, but just skin sets. Uh, we have the Deputy, Desperado, Cowgirl, Lawman, and Wanted set. Okay, let's take a peek. Cowgirl outfit. All right, I like the bandana. I love the hat. Honestly, even the clothes are pretty dope with the snake skin going on. That's cool. Okay, I like that. What else we got? Got the cowboy. Oh, that one's cool. I wonder, can we get this uh, handlebar mustache situation? Can we get that going on? A little handlebar mustache. Winchester with no scope. Shout out to the old Winchester. Who's old enough in chat to remember that? Winchester with no scope. Okay, I like that. Cool, cool. Uh, here we go with another female skin. We got a uh, zebra themed skin. It looks like pretty cool. I like the glasses again. Uh, the hat design, I think is really cool. All right. Very nice. Very nice. Move it a little bit. Y'all can see she's holding a sawed off shotgun. What else? Oops. Uh, doo -doo -doo. Here we go with some level two. Oh, level three. That's going to be cool to have on Miramar, huh? Look at that. Wanted level three. And that's a level two, it looks like. And that's a level three. Or is that also a level three? I think this is a level two and that's a level three. But uh, those are cool looking. I like I like both of those. I like all those, actually. Those are cool. Little snake skin around the level three backpack. Extra little pouch over here for your doodads. The sheriff. Uh, little sheriff symbol on the level two hat. That's cool. All right. I'm digging that. I'm digging that. All right, what else we got? Oh, of course. And last but not least, we've got the progressive skins. Well, skin and the battle stat skin. So all this stuff is coming in the hideout crate. So the it's like a water theme too, it looks like. We have the Darkest Depths Barrel M762, Darkest Depths Mini 14, battle stat only. So stat tracking only, not a progressive skin. Seafoam Swirl, Shotguns, Soul Shackle, AK Mutant Vector, and then Deck Hand, a bunch of little small ones. Let's take a peek. Let's take a peek. Um, man, can I be honest with y'all? Y'all can see everything fine here, right? Yeah. Can I be honest? I think this skin looks freaking fantastic. I'm just a little, a little salty that it's a barrel again. Like I, I loved this. I think the skin looks great, but another barrel, they already had the, the, um, yeah, the, the pink barrel, the one from like season one or suit, not season one, but like the, you know, the first, the first season of the contraband stuff. You remember that one? I think I even have that one. Do I have that? Hold on. Heck. Whoa. Uh, hideout weapons. No, I don't. It was one before, before the SLR. Hmm. Anywho, um, they already had one and I guess I said, screw it. Let's do another one. But I, I think the skin looks cool. The mini 14, I think is also really cool looking. And this will just be battle stat. The loot death crate looks really cool with a little octopus on the head too. I like that. I like that. The, oh, the scopes go gold on the level four or the four X. Damn. Yeah, I do like that. That's cool. I'm looking forward to seeing that in the game. Uh, then we have the other skins that'll be in the contraband crate. So we have the seafoam shotguns. Uh, this almost looks like the toxic mutant 
the uh the old toxic mutant but I, I like the color scheme that's cool looking i like the ak i like the vector those are all really neat i'm digging that uh pistol looks okay shotgun looks cool shotgun looks really cool a little green um green pump gold plate on the top uh what's that the g36 i like it i like the pistol Eh, meh Meh and meh. I don't know. Not, not crazy about those. Uh, is that it? Okay, and that's it. So, uh, there you have it. That is a 18.1 uh, leak roundup courtesy of ASJ Sapphix. Thank you for keeping us up to date on the leaks. By the time you're seeing this video, uh, be looking forward to another video following tomorrow, which hopefully is going to be going over all the patch notes and giving us a firsthand look at whatever is new in the test server. Some things that are coming with 18.1 that we already know. The new animation uh, system that I, I talked about, I think in my last video, just a couple of changes, nothing, not a big overhaul, just a couple of changes. Uh, they're supposedly fixing the med situation on Erangel and Miramar. They're reverting the nerf and hopefully improving and increasing the meds back on Erangel and Miramar. And then um, what else for 18.1 that I know of? I think that's all that's confirmed so far. I'm sure there's some other things I'm forgetting. I'm trying to get my, uh, you know, get my cogs turning, get my wheels turning in my head again, uh, back into the PUBG universe. So um, anyway, let's go ahead and end it there. Thank you guys again for watching. Thank you for sticking around for so long and sorry for the, uh, the delay and lack of content. But uh, if you did enjoy today's video, please be sure to leave it a thumbs up, share it with a buddy and get subscribed for more PUBG content. If you're interested in one of my other endeavors, I again recently started my new podcast called The Dome Show. And The Dome Show is a passion project of mine. It's a gaming podcast. So far, we have two episodes up. One, uh, my first episode was with Massa Beard, aka uh, oh, it's Joshua Bell, aka Massa Beard, I should say, the creative director of Rings of Battle, an upcoming uh, military themed battle royale aimed pretty squarely at PUBG, as a matter of fact. Uh, then I did one with my buddy Matt at PUBG Lookup, the creator and the host of PUBGLookup.com, uh, the number one go-to you know, PUBG stat tracking website and my personal favorite. So go check those out on the YouTube channel if you want the video versions. They're going to be on YouTube. If you prefer just audio only, uh, the Dome Show podcast is available on you know, Spotify, iTunes, wherever else you get your, your podcast stuff. So, so go give it a listen. Links will be in the description below. And of course, let me know what you guys think. Uh, and that's it. So we'll end it there. Thank you all again. And I'll see y'all in the next video. Take care. Peace.